Here's the question then, part A and part B. So let's have a look at the solution and I've summarized it here. Okay, so first of all, write this as this. So let's have a look at this then, A part one. Let's have a go at this. So tan is sine over cos, isn't it? So let's write that down. So we've got six cosine theta plus five tan, which we can write as sine theta over cosine theta. Equals zero, wasn't it? Multiply all the way through by the cos then to get everything on ground level. Um, gives six cosine squared plus the cosine will cancel here on the second and we'll just have five sine theta. And naught times cos is just naught. And now we just replace the cosine squared by one minus sine squared plus the five sine theta equals zero. Expand the bracket so we get six minus six sine squared theta plus five sine theta equals naught and then multiply all the way through by minus one. Here, and write this term first. Write this term second, minus five sine theta and times this by a minus as well, minus six. Naught times minus one is still zero. And that's what we wanted to show uh, at the top, just here. Part two, find theta between naught and 360 such that this equals naught. So we've got our equation here. We're solving for theta between naught and 360. So hopefully it factorizes. I got a feeling it does because I can see that six is three and two and six is three and two and nine and four difference of minus five. So let's try that then. So three sine theta, two sine theta. To get the nine and four, we'll need this to be three and this to be the two, that way around. And we need minus five, don't we? So put that as minus, that as plus. So let's just check it. Six sine squared minus nine plus four is minus five sine theta. Plus times minus is a minus two threes is six. So that looks good. So that tells us then. Now we'll, we'll look at the solution. This is zero then, this part here, when sine theta equals minus two thirds, isn't it? Or and looking at this one, sine theta would need to equal um, 3 over 2, wouldn't it? Yeah, from that one. And there's no solutions for that because sine just varies between minus 1 and 1. And 3 over 2 is outside the solution range. So there's no solutions for that part. So we're just looking at this. So let's draw a circle. C-A-S-T. We're looking for 0 to 360. Sign is negative here, sign is positive here and here, so it's negative there and there. Draw two lines, mark off alpha the associated acute angle, and simply write sine alpha equals the value without the minus, if there is one. Shift sine two thirds then, shift sine of two divided by three, 41.810. Eight one zero. Okay, so that's alpha. So we can read off the angle then. So the first solution would be round to here. One hundred eighty plus alpha is equal to one hundred eighty plus forty one is two two one point eight one degrees. But we'll do it to two dp. Well, theta is equal to. Now the next solution would be right round to here. Round 360 and back alpha. So that'd be 360 minus 41.810, which is 314.189 dot 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 degrees. Hopefully that's a 9. That could well be an 8, couldn't it? That probably is an 8 because this carries on, doesn't it? So this would need to be an 8 here, wouldn't it? But that's more accuracy than we need because we're just doing it to 2dp. So it's 314.19 degrees. And we could look a bit more carefully at that if we were worried about that accuracy of solution here. So that's 2dp there. I think that's fine. And that's 2dp there. 
Okay, good. So that's part A done then. We found those solutions. So now we look at x for part B between 0 and 180 such that this holds cos 2x minus 60 is 0 0.788. So let's write that down then. Cos 2x minus 60 is equal to 0 0.788. And we're looking for x between 0 and 180 degrees. We're really interested in this range of values, so let's double it then. So two of those, two of those, and two of these would give 360. And then take the 60 away all the way through. Minus 60, 2x minus 60 degrees. And take away 60 here, we get 300. So there's our solution range we're interested in for this particular problem. So we've got cos of something equals 0 0.788. Let's have a look at that. Let's draw a circle. Right cast. Cos in this particular problem is positive. Cos is positive here and here. So we'll mark off that. Mark off our associated acute angle. And simply write cosine alpha. Drop the negative if there is one to drop. So shift cos 0 0.788 then. We're in degrees mode. Keep it nice and accurate to start with. 38.0010. 38.0. Well, I think because it's so close to 38 degrees, I'm just going to leave alpha as 38 degrees because it's 0 0.00. So alpha is 38 then. So what have we got then? So our first solution in this range, I'm going to go round to here. And so... Uh, 2x minus 60 then is equal to 38 degrees or 2x minus 60 degrees is equal to what? So the other solution, if I went round here for example, that would be 360 minus 38 would be 3, 322, wouldn't it? 22. Yeah, 322, which is outside our range. So that isn't a solution around that way. We need to go back that way, minus 38, and that will be in the range. Okay, so that's in the range, and that's no problem at all to read off. So let's work out that then. 2x, move the 60 over, is equal to 98. And this one, 60 take 38 is 22 degrees. And now we can read off x. 49 degrees. Or x is equal to 22 over 2 is 11 degrees. So there's our two solutions for part B.